Hello, this video is going to explain lab three to you. Now lab three is going to be pretty similar to lab two in which you added three methods into the ArrayList clone class that we developed together. Except this time you're going to be adding three methods to the LinkList class that we've developed. The first of these is a method to get the size of the linked list. And there's basically two ways you can do that. You can either make a counter and whenever something's added to the linked list, you increment the counter. And whenever something's decremented, you de or rather when something's removed, you decrement the counter. Then you can just return the counter from your size method. Or you can simply just count through all of the nodes one by one and see how many there are and return that. Now the second method for the linked list class is going to be called contains. And basically it's a search method. So you're given an item and you need to search through the linked list to see if any of the items are equal to that or not and return true or false. Remember to use that dot equals method on the objects instead of the equals equals operator, which doesn't generally work for objects. And then the third method is one that we didn't put in either, which is the dot get method. So in a linked list, you'd want to be able to say, hey, give me the fourth item, which is going to work differently from an array. Instead of indexing it, you're going to have to loop through and follow basically four of those next links until you get the item that you're looking for. So that is the lab. I'll show you the page and quickly kind of go through the main class and how you're going to test this. All right, so let's take a look. All right, so here's the lab page that you're currently on. You're going to be working with this linklist.java class. And now this contains the code that we developed together. And it has just all of the methods that we talked about in lesson one and lesson two of this module. Now, as I said in the intro, you're going to be adding the three methods to it, getting the size of the linked list, checking if an element is contained within the linked list or not, and then finally the get method, which returns to you a value from the linked list by index. So that is what you're going to be doing. I would suggest doing these one by one and testing them as you go. Now, speaking of testing, I've given you a main method to do the testing, the list main class, which you can download here looks like this. It basically makes a linked list of characters and puts the letters A through Z into the linked list. Then it prints out the size. So this is calling the size method that you're supposed to write. Of course, this should print 26 because there are 26 letters. Next, it's going to test your contains method. So B should be in the list and X should be in the list as well. So these should both print true, but asterisk should not be in the list. And so that one will print false. Finally, we test the get method. So if it's working correctly, the fourth letter, well, letter four, which is really the fifth letter, of course, because like in array, we're going to start with zero based indexing, then letter 15 and letter 24, which the output for that should be E, P and Y. So like I said, I would suggest doing these one by one. So maybe put in stub methods for these that just do nothing to start with just so the thing can compile. Then write the first one and see if you can get this first thing to say 26. Then write the second method and see if that will work. And then the third method sort of go one by one testing as you go. And when you're finished, please upload your code to the Canvas page for this assignment. So that is all for this lab. If you're stuck or have any questions, of course, just let me know.